stronger and more conservative. That is how Governor Greg Abbott and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick plan to lead Texas out of this legislative session. As KCBD News Channel 11's Anthony Hall reports, they use their inauguration day to set the tone for the next 133 days. So, Governor, we've done it again. <laughs> Three P. On the steps you know, of the Capitol the Tuesday morning, again. Governor the Abbott and Lieutenant time. Governor Dan Patrick sure. celebrated sure. the beginning sure. of their third sure. term together. <laughs> It starts with helping the legislature spend $188 billion. And we're going to do a lot of great things for the people of Texas because it's your money. As the leader of the so Senate, Lieutenant 15, Governor 15, Patrick arguably sets the agenda. At the top of his list, forever. property tax we relief. Specifically, raising the homestead exemption to $70,000 a year. He estimates that would save the average Texan homeowner about $3,000 a year. You come first, it's your money. They both agreed on school choice, also known as school vouchers. It would subsidize private school education for any family who wants to move their child out of a designated school. And to the naysayers that say school choice hurts rural Texas, the governor and I will have a plan to protect those schools financially and to make sure those parents have choice also. No one knows what is better for their child's education than their parents. In a media interview Tuesday, Lubbock State Representative Carl Tepper said he would support the proposal. We're going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars. On public safety, the lieutenant governor proposed a first in state history, lump sum funding of millions of dollars to help rural sheriff's offices. Because we've got sheriffs making $35,000 a year and deputies making twenty eight, dollars and people in rural Texas that serve the same law enforcement protection as we do anywhere else, so we're going to help those counties. And both leaders promised updates to the state's energy grid, which Lubbock will join completely later this year. Together, we are going to build the Texas of tomorrow, not for just the next four years, but for the next century. Both pledged more support for border security, citing federal failure, and declared this session will not end until Texas schools are made safer. They did not offer specifics. Anthony Hall, KCBD News Channel 11.